Hey, Debbie Can here with another question from the question bank in the style of what you find in chapter 10i.1 of your Hayes and Harris Math SL textbook. In this question, we're given a function sine, of, sine cubed of x plus cosine cubed of x times tangent of x. And the first part of the question tells us to show that this is equivalent to sine of x. So it's basically saying, simplify this expression, show that it's equal to sine of x. Now we're told some other stuff about, about the uh, range, or excuse me, the domain of the function. So x has to be between pi on 2 and pi. That's for part b, which I didn't include in this question because it involves some knowledge that we haven't learned yet. Um, so we can pretty safely ignore that part of the question for now. All right, so if we look at sine cubed of x plus cosine cubed of x times tangent of x, I think I can combine co cosine and tangent because I know that tangent of x is equal to sine of x on cosine of x. This will at least allow me to get the expression in terms of sine and cosine only. Here's how it works. This means that f of x is equal to sine cubed of x plus cosine cubed of x times tangent of x. I'm going to write tangent of x as sine of x over cosine of x. Writing it that way makes it clear that the cosine will cancel with one of these three cosines. Remember, cosine cubed means cosine times cosine times cosine. So I'll cancel with one of them, leaving cosine squared. This gives me sine cubed of x plus cosine squared of x times sine of x. Now that helps me because now I only have two expressions, sine and cosine, instead of three sine, cosine, and tangent. But it also helps me because it leaves a common term between these two. There's sine, a common factor between the two terms. There's sine. I can pull a sine out of both of these terms. If I pull a sine out, that leaves me with, well, if I have three sines, sine of x times sine of x times sine of x, and pull one out, it leaves me with just two, sine squared of x. And if I pull this sine x out on the other side, it will leave me with cosine squared of x. And what that leaves me in here with is my Pythagorean theorem identity, sine squared plus cosine squared, which we know is just 1. 1 times sine of x is just sine of x. So I'm able to show that f of x is also equal to just sine of x.